First one is Malambot Ang Ilong. Kayo. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Uh, hopefully the audio is good on this. I did do a food video with a dessert. I'm going to probably have to redo it because the audio was just atrocious on it. And um, but uh, So it's not going to come out today. It however may come out tomorrow if I can get it figured out or I might just voice over it. So... Uh, we'll figure that out, but today I want So, Nayon Arao, I'm going to get to some cool idioms. I was trying to find some idioms that people use in the Philippines because in Canada, obviously, there's a, a million different examples of things we say where if you took the literal translation to a foreigner, it would make absolutely no sense. Like, cat got your tongue obviously a cat doesn't have your tongue you just are speechless so i found some cool ones and i'm going to say them to you in tagalog and try my best and then tell you what they mean after so first one is malambot ang ilong so literal translation means uh having a soft nose which makes no sense so uh it's in the translation what what they're really trying to say is it's a person who is like easily fooled or gullible so that one's malambot ang ilong uh next one is hopefully the pronunciation is good on this makati ang paa makati makati ang paa um that means itchy feet and they use it in Philippines when it's like someone, someone that enjoys going places. They don't like sitting still. So, um, next one, Makati Ang Dila. Makati Ang Dila. Um, that's itchy tongue. So that's someone that's very talkative or a chatterbox. That's how we would use it. Um, here's another one. Kabayak ng di dib dib. <laughs> Kabayak ng dib dib. <laughs> uh, the that means um, the other half of the heart, or or like a literal pr translation too. I had I had as breast augmentation, but it doesn't mean that. It's actually referring to your spouse. So you you refer to your spouse as the other half of your heart. But it could also be literally translated to breast augmentation, which is kind of funny. Um, okay, so the next one is uh, butas ang bulsa. Butas ang bulsa. Uh, that's a hole in the pocket. So that's someone who's like got no money. Basically, they got holes in their pockets. Can't keep any money. Um, then there's uh, makapal ang bulsa. Makapal ang bulsa. Uh, thick pocket so that that's what it's literally translated as but what it means is someone that's got a lot of cash so you got a lot of a lot of cash on you in your pocket um so the next one is uh ma uh mabigat ang kamay mabigat ang kamay um that means you have a heavy hand so heavy the literal translation you have a heavy hand what it really trying to they're trying to say is it's someone that, that is lazy so um the last one is bulaklak nang dila bulaklak nang dila um the literal translation means flowers of the tongue what it really is trying to get at is it's used to denote when someone's exaggerating so if someone's exaggerating, they say, Bulaglak uh, ng dila. Anyways, that was pretty cool. Um, if anyone following me has some cool idioms that you guys use in the Philippines, write them in the comments. 
And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to mag-subscribe. Salamat po. Um, we'll see you guys next time. Mama ya. Okay, so today we got 30 minutes in the workbook and Himsler Audio. We have 46 minutes and then another 20 minutes in Monly. And I got Nelly with me again checking out this stuff. Um, and then if you go to check out my idioms, the day 19 post for my blog on lingostreet.net has all those idioms that I read off. So if you want a copy of them, go check out the day 19 post. All right, we will see you tomorrow. Mama, yeah.